Hello, my loves. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Guys, today I'm going to do your weekly reading. And this is going to be for my Virgos. And this will be for the week of January 18th through the 24th. Um, guys, I am so sorry about last week not doing your readings. I was definitely sick. Um, I thought I was going to die. I'm not kidding you. I haven't been that sick in so long. And um, I went to have a COVID test done and it came back negative. Um, and I am still on quarantine right now for work. Um, so, but I don't know. I was just, oh, I was like, ugh. So I hope you guys had a great week. Um, hope you had a wonderful and great week. But I just couldn't do it. So I am sorry about that. And hopefully that won't happen. Again, usually I do some pre-recording, but I had nothing done. Okay, I'm going to do one more shuffle, and we'll get on with your reading, guys. All right. Put you guys down here. Angels, guides, and spirits. What is it that Virgo needs to know for the week of the 18th through the 24th, please? just all right let's see what's going on all right so the first cards that i'm going to read are your inside influences they're the ones that are closest to you okay so the first card that came out was the jack of spades and that's the shepherd and that denotes intense love and a strong feeling um of fellowship you love your friends and um you feel very strongly about them but it is an intense love of life you love life okay you love um what life can be and uh you love your life at this point in time so i have the three of spades and that's the pig best card in the deck guys absolute best card in the deck that is uh you, you phenomenal luck um great things great abundance is near honors and ambitions are gained everything is looking wonderful for you greatest card in the deck the jack of diamonds the jack of diamonds is the rider and that is good news is coming your way guys awesome and it's going to be coming in fast. That rider here is a very fast uh, moving. So it's going to be coming in fairly quickly, okay, for you. I have the four of clubs, and that is the key, and that's success. God, you guys got a lot of success cards and lucky cards. That is awesome. So basically, the key is unlocking that happiness. It's unlocking that, uh, that unlocking the 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 success that's about to come to you and that's coming to you. The three of clubs is the tree. Oh, good health is coming your way, guys. Oh, that's amazing. So you have good health. You have money coming into you. You have the money safe. So it indicates riches. So good things are coming your way. You have the clover. Good luck. Wow, you guys. Five of clubs. This is awesome. Look at this. You got everything coming here. Good luck coming your way. You have prosperity, money, heart, great joy. You have great joy is near. That heart is just there. It's coming. It's great. Um, things are coming your way. So they are your inside influences. They are great, guys. Um, awesome. I love it. Okay, so let's read your outside influences. These are the things that are outside of you um, that are coming in. Uh, the seven of hearts, the stork. You're going to have a change of residence, and it's going to be for the better. 
Um, you could have somebody moving in, somebody moving out. You may be moving um, somewhere. Um, or you may be doing some home renovations of some sort in your house. But there's going to be some kind of a change in your residence. And it's for the best, okay? It's going to happen soon, sooner than it is later. The railroad, um, you've been going through a long journey. Um, there's a long journey uh, that you have gone down and that's about to change. Okay, so that long journey is about to change. You've had like some stagnant, something that's been stagnant in your life um, up to now, and things are start to, starting to change. Things that are gonna start to work out for the better for you. Wine, celebrate. Celebrate and be cheerful and be giddy and uh, just enjoy yourself um, and have that glass of wine. The six of spades is that mouse. Um, you're gonna get a loss of some sort. Um, somebody may steal something. Um, I don't really feel as if it's a theft of that nature. I feel as if it is um, it's something that you're gonna recover. It's going to take a little bit of time to get that back. Um, I feel as if it's more along the lines of your bank account. Um, I feel as if it may have something to do with maybe a credit card statement, a banking account of some sort that, um, that maybe the bank made an error on. Um, you will recover that back, but it's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take a little bit of effort to get that back. Okay. I just don't, I feel as if it has something to do with banking, um, for some reason. I have the Fox. Okay. And that is, uh, that augurs distrust of some kind of an acquaintance. Um, there's somebody that you might have, um, come in contact with that um, you just can't um, trust this person. You, it is like a bet betray. They want to try to be betray you. Um, I feel as if it's somebody you already knew. But there's somebody that, um, that you have known. You're really not great friends with them. They're just an acquaintance of yours. But it's somebody that you shouldn't trust. Okay, so keep an eye out for that. I have the seven of diamonds and that is the flames and that is uh indicates good fortune um that neutralizes any evil that is lying near so it may neutralize that card that i just read you um it can be talking also um this good fortune it can be talking about an aries a uh aries a leo or a sagittarius so it may be talking about um, those as signs that may be coming to you and bring good fortune. Uh, the ace of diamonds is the birds. And that is uh, uh, some kind of an enemy. Um, that person, I think, that, that just doesn't like you. They don't want to see you succeed in life. Why? Um, I don't get, um, there's somebody that you know that just doesn't want to see you succeed. And it's talking about that same person, that same person that's over in the other card that I read you. So be careful of that person, that distrusting person. They're out to get you. They're out to, um, to cause you some harm. And I feel as if it is, it, it is somebody that you've known and you know about this, you know about them, um, so just kind of move on from them, that person. They're not one to, uh, that you want around. You want to get rid of them. Ten of diamonds is the skies. And that is um, some kind of a disappointment. There may be somebody that you know um, that may have um, passed away. Um, and they may have paid, passed away from some, an early death. They might have died young. Um, and you still think about that and you still hold on to that. And for some reason, um, you're holding on to that. Uh, you need to try to let that go. You need to try to, uh, you know, it's not your fault that they passed away early. Um, it, it was their time. 
you know, God, uh, whatever you believe in, angels, guides, spirits, uh, whatever, um, they needed them more um, in their room um, than we needed them here. Okay, so I hope that helps you guys. Um, where are my cards? So let's pull a card from Universe here and let's see what Universe wants to talk to you about. Universe, what is it that Virgos need to know? What is it Virgos need to know for that week of the 18th through the 24th, please? Two more shuffles. Um, we have the wolf, the mountain and the rain. Okay. So the wolf is all about instincts, right? It's use your God given instincts. If you feel something isn't right, then pay attention to that. Um, if you feel something is right, then pay attention to that. But use, use the God given gifts that you were given. Um, use your instincts. You are, you have strength. Um, you're very strong. Um, you're very strong inside and outside. Um, things are coming into you. Um, and you need to use the strength that you have to get the things that you want. And, and we have the rain. Rain is purification. So purify yourself, guys. Um, sit down and do some meditation. Sit down and uh, just clear thoughts out of your mind. Just relax. Let things go. Just, um, you know, take maybe a detoxing bath or, uh, you know, just go in and meditate or just sit there and do nothing, you know, for maybe 10 minutes and see what happens, you know. So that's awesome, guys. So let's... Uh, one more card. Let's ask Spirit to give us a postcard here. Spirit, give us a postcard um, for my Virgos. And let's see what they need to know for the 18th to the 24th, please. It doesn't want to come out. Let's read it. Dearest you, all your prayers are heard and mirrored back to you from the unseen realms. Be grateful. Praise things before they manifest and always ask for the highest good. When you plead and beg, that will bring you only more reason to plead and beg. Instead, offer your prayers as sacred gifts, as a testament to your faith and in a higher power. Open up and let spirit move through you and comfort you. Add meditation as a way to become empty. No, So you will be ready to be filled with inspired epiphanies, peace, understanding, and joy. In this moment, your prayers are being answered for the highest good of both you and all life. Sometimes what you pray for is not supposed to happen for you and your prayers will be answered in surprising ways. At this moment, we are listening intently to your prayers and want you to know that your highest good is our priority. All is well. So guys, I hope that helps you. Um, in here, it talked about, uh, you know, don't plead and beg. Um, when you plead and beg, that's not good. You're just going to be pleading and begging more. Um, you know, let the universe um, do its job. Let them in spirit um, do the work that they are meant to do. They're the ones that are going to uh, say, you know, you know, maybe it should happen and maybe it shouldn't happen. It's going to come to you surprisingly. But meditate, guys. Meditate on those things um, that you want 
you know, just like I said, meditation is key to um, gaining what you want to manifest into your life. So I hope this helps you guys. Uh, remember, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. So be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising readings also. I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful and an absolutely beautiful week. And until next time.